Hi, this is uh, another video in the playlist where we're looking at circle theorems. Now, um, with this type of uh, question, you just need to really make sure that you're reading through the question thoroughly because otherwise you might miss things. So, for instance, A, B and B, C are equal, which is this little bit here. OK, so what we mean is this line AB and this line BC are equal. And that might be quite important when you're actually coming to trying to solve the question. And the question they're asking us to solve is to figure out the size of the angle ACE. OK, so this is a little bit difficult to draw on the paper. But if you can imagine if I draw a line from A to C, OK, and then from C to E. So it's actually going to be this angle here that they're going to ask us to solve. OK, so there's a bit of a clue in what I've just drawn in that actually what we've got then is an isosceles triangle. OK, because AB and BC are equal, what we've effectively got is a triangle that looks like that. OK, so... In order for us to try to kind of work with this, it would be very useful if we can figure out the base angle here, which is this base angle. So the first part of this particular question with showing your reasoning is you need to work out that this is going to be 55 degrees. OK, and the reason that angle, if I write this at the very bottom here, that angle ABC is 55 degrees as the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the centre. OK, and that would be one of your first reasons. OK, so if we know that in our isosceles triangle that this particular angle is 55 degrees, we can use that information to work out the value of the two base angles because triangle ABC is isosceles. Okay, the two base angles are the same. Two base angles are the same. Okay, so what we're going to do is we work out the base angle by saying, well, actually, the total amount of um, angles, so the, the angles in a, in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, if we take 55 away and then we divide by 2, we're going to get the base angle. So that's going to be the same as saying 180 minus 55 is going to be 125, and then 125 divided by 2 is going to be 62 uh, and a half degrees. So what I do know now is that the base angle here is 62.5 degrees, which actually is also the same as the base angle here. OK, so hopefully you can see this on the actual video itself. That would be 62.5 degrees. OK, so let's now expand that a little bit. Now, bearing in mind that what we're actually looking to achieve is the angle ACE. So it's this angle here. Now, if you look very closely, what we've got is a straight line. OK, so the next part of this is we can say angles in a straight line um, are 180 degrees. OK, so let me just see if I can draw that a little bit better for you. So if I put a line along like that, I've got my first part here, which is going to be 62.5 degrees, which is the base of the isosceles triangle. My next little bit along here is from point C to E from D. So this angle um, ECD or DCE is 72 degrees. So if I want to figure out the angle that they're looking for, which is angle ACE, all I do is I take 180 degrees or I take these two angles away from 180 degrees. So angle ACE, which is the one that they're looking for, is equal to 180 minus 62.5 minus 72. And that's going to give me a final answer of 45.5 
degrees. OK, and that's the answer to this particular question. So on the face of it, it looks quite tricky. But actually, once you figure out that AB and BC are equal, therefore it must be an isosceles triangle. Um, hopefully it should become a little bit clearer. OK, hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Also, have a look at the other videos within this particular playlist. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.